What's up, YouTube? We're back with day 28. Now, I'm a day behind. I've been a day behind for the past week. It is what it is, but I hope you guys are still enjoying the videos. And what did you think of that 18-inch Mickey? Isn't that thing awesome and huge? And mm, it's upstairs right now because we haven't figured out where we're actually placing it yet. But that 18-inch Mickey is amazing. If you can go to your local Sam's Club, go, go check it out. Um... Most videos I have seen, including um, pictures I've seen at Sam's Club, um, they have one on display. You gotta just go see it in person. It's if you're a Disney fan or a Mickey fan or a collector of Funkos, or just, just go check them out. The Mickey, I know it's like I said, I know it's a classic mold, but it's such a good piece, and I think it's going to be a piece that no matter if you stay in the Funko game or you get out of the Funko game. It might be a piece you just keep in your family, especially if you're a Disney fan. I'm just saying, just saying, go check out the Sam's Club 18-inch Mickey. But today we have another Disney pop that is not Mickey Mouse, I promise. But it is the reason I have all this behind me pretty much has started in the series that has caused my downfall in Funkos. <laughs> but before we get into the pop, just go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button so you guys can like and follow and you know, along this huge journey of nonsense behind me. <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. But let's get into the pop of the day. So day 28. Day 28 we have a pop. Um, yeah. I was trying to figure out what the card I was using to open everything was. It just kind of disappeared. Anyway. So today we have a pop from the series that has caused all this to start. So I was doing good. I was getting random pops. I'll just show you a random pop. I have this. This is a random 2012 Boba Fett. I've had random pops here. I have the Mickey with um, got Sleeping Beauty Castle from the Disneyland line. I have a Wacky Wobbler from... This is even older now. This is what a 2011 Wacky Wobbler. So I had random stuff, and I was like, okay, and then the Disney Treasure stuff, and then I have only ever been to Disney World, and to this day, I've only ever been to Disney World. I've never been to Disneyland, never been overseas Disney's, only ever been to Disney World. So when the 50th anniversary of Disney World was announced, in my head, I was like, I have to be there for the 50th, which we were lucky enough to go. Uh, I was actually lucky enough to take my wife on the year of the 50th. It was a month after the 50th, you know, official 50th date. But we were able to go for our five-year anniversary to Disney World during the 50th anniversary. And it was instant re-love. Like, mm, I knew I was a Disney adult, always have been a Disney adult, not the creepy Disney adult. Like, the actual ones I enjoy Disney for Disney versus the ones that go way too over the top. But that's a whole nother ballgame. We're not getting into that. Um, so, but when Funko announced the 50th line, as you can clearly tell behind me, I have all of them, except one. And I need to, you still need to go buy this one. It's starting to creep up in price. I need to buy it before it gets too expensive. Is the Minky in the Haunted Mansion car. I need that piece. I need that Minky in the Haunted Mansion buggy. It's the last one I'm missing for the set. But this piece in general that I'm going to show you today, I think is completely underrated. I don't think people give it the credit it deserves. There was two versions of it. There was a common version and there was a box lunch version. And if you, since I said box lunch, you probably know what I'm talking about. It is the flocked Pirates of the Caribbean dog. Now, there was a common version of that. I am not, I was not getting it. Um, I don't, I think this one and the keychains, wherever they are. <laughs> Um, are the only pops that didn't buy the common and the regular and the exclusive. But this is the flock, Pirates of the Caribbean dog. I knew that the flock was the only way to go with this one. Why would you want a plain, non fuzzy Pirates of the Caribbean dog? And it's super cute. So let's open him up. I think this pop is completely underrated. And it's probably completely undervalued. Um, I don't think some of these pops out there get the true love they deserve, and I think other pops get too much love. Um, I don't, some stuff I just, like, when people go, oh, I'll spend um, three arms and two legs on that, I'm like, why? But there's other pops out there that are just super cute, super adorable, and they are well done, and this is definitely one of them. So, you've ever rode the Pirates of the Caribbean, you know the scene, the guy, the one pirate is behind jail, and the dog's sitting on the side, 
with the key in his mouth, and look how cute he is. He's all fuzzy. He has the key in his mouth. I don't think I've ever taken this out of the box. He is absolutely the most adorable thing in the world. I love this pop. I'm glad I got the flock version of it and didn't buy the common. Um, I don't really know why you would not... Why you, So some of these pops... Funko, listen. Listen to us for a second. I get money. Money speaks, so you want a common and an, un, and an exclusive. But sometimes we just need exclusives. And this was the case that we just needed exclusive. We did not need the common version of this pop. Now with the Phil Hard Magic Mickey, I have the common and I have the exclusive. And I get that. Some people don't like the diamond. Some people love the diamond. I grabbed both because they both look great. But this was one that flocked was the only way to go. So if you haven't grabbed this box lunch exclusive flocked Pirates of the Caribbean dog, I'm going to tell you right now. Just, just go buy it. You might be able to get it rather cheap. He's fuzzy. He's adorable. And I, I, I love this piece. I absolutely love this piece. Like, this was a piece that I saw and I was like, yep, I need the flocked version. So, go grab yourself the Pirates of the Caribbean dog. Um, go grab the flocked version. Just just do yourself a favor. Skip skip the common. Grab the flocked. The flocked is it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed day 28 of uh, Disney Funko Pop a day. This pop is adorable. You guys know the scene. But, that's all I got for you guys today. Until tomorrow, take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.